Assalamu alaikum. We will discuss some ASCII revisions. We start with our first slide. The pelvic lesion here is herbs genitalis, folliculitis and franclosis, psoriasis, intertrigo or tinea. When the lesion is like that, frankens with some pustules around the hair follicle. This is a flocculitis and franclosis. What about this lesion? These are papules filled with fluid, which is contagious. not pointing. This is herbs genitalis. What about this redness in the inner aspect of the thigh and the labia majora and to the other side? This is intertrigo. What about this elevated lesions contagious to the, in, to the inner sides of the thigh taking hold the perineum which is itchy also and foul smelling it is tinea crudis tinea crudis what about this itchy, scaly lesion limited to the labia majora with small lesions lateral to the main one. This is psoriasis. What about this? This is senile atrophy of the vulva. What about this? This is a corrosive vulvae, which one of vulval dystrophies causing narrowing of the vagina, urethral problems, and this is a corrosive vulvae. This, what about this lesion on the right side? And what about that on the left side? A is leukoplakia valvi, the white lesion taking the anus, anal region, grosses valvi, leukoplakia valvi, sorry, leukoplakia valvi, and this is lichen planus or lichen sclerosis, lichen sclerosis. Lichen sclerosis, leukoplakia valvi, and chlorosis valvi are all subtypes of vulval dystrophies, vulval dystrophies. What about this discharge, copious discharge in A? This is curly. This is George with H. And what about this C? This is a trichomonas frothy vaginitis. This is a monelial 
vaginitis and this is a diabetic vulva. This is a diabetic vulva. Diabetes mellitus is the underlying cause of two of them. Diabetes mellitus is usually associated with monilial vaginitis and diabetic vulvitis. What about A? A here, these are dilute, dilated veins. This is vulvar varicosities, and this is a team of the labia minora. The cause of vulvar varicosities are extension may be extension of the lower limb varicosity or pelvic tumors, deep pelvic DVT, and the labial edema here may be allergic to chemical drugs or certain tissues or due to friction or as a part of anterior abdominal wall edema. This is vulvar varicosis and this is angioritic edema of the labia. This is elephantiasis which is caused by filariasis infestation with filaria worms of the lymphatics in certain endemic areas such as El Manzale and Damietta. And this is vulvar hematoma due to trauma or ruptured veins or ruptured varicosity. What about this? and this, and this. These are all, both of these women are tested positive for syphilis. This is a chunk of syphilis, and this is the chunk of syphilis with enlargement of the draining lymph nodes, and this is gamma of syphilis, a condyloma later, sorry, condyloma later, gamma, another, the third stage, condyloma later, chancre with inguinal lymph node enlargement, and condyloma later. The cause of organism is tribunema pallidum, spirochete bacteria. By diagnosis, Diagnosis is done by direct visualization of the organism under dark microscopy and tribunema paradigm embolization test. Long acting benzocene penicillin G, 2.4 million units are administered intramuscularly, will cure a person with, who have primary, secondary, and early latent uh, or early latent syphilis. Three doses of long acting benzocene G. Benzylin G, 2.4 million units administered intramuscularly at weekly intervals is recommended for individuals who have late latent syphilis or latent syphilis of unknown duration. Treatment will, be, will kill tribunema pallidum and prevent further damage, but it will no, not repair damage already done. Again, this is the, sh the shanker of syphilis, shanker of syphilis. This is lymph node enlargement and this is the condyloma letter. Is quite different from 
Kondailuma acuminata of Humabiluma virus. Sorry. What about this? This is the urethra, and these are pointing stars from paraurethral glands, skin is gland. The squeezing of the urethra pi and an index are in the vagina. There was an extrusion of pus, three white points, the urethra, and inflammation of skin is gland, paraurethral glands. What are the common causes of organism gonorrhea? Mention three symptoms and uh, treatment. Acute arthritis and skinitis, uh, uh, chlamydia and gonorrhea, dysuria, urethral pain, tenderness, and dyspareunia are the main symptoms. Treatment of gonorrhea and chlamydia as usual regimens. What about this? This is the site of Bartholine gland. It is inflamed, tender, an examination. This is Bartholinitis. The pathophysiology of this condition is the obstruction of the Bartholine gland duct. Treatment here is antibiotic until acute condition resides and then mercipulization. What about this? This is an ulcer on the forchette with the draining lymph nodes enlarged and about two points. Women complains of very tender ulcer on the forchette with enlarged and inflamed going a lymph node as seen in the photo. What is the diagnosis? This is chancroid. Causative organism, homophilus decreae. What is the risk factor? It is sexually transmitted. What is the treatment of choice? Azithromycin, one gram orally in a single dose, or ciftraxone, 250 milligram intramuscular in a single dose, or ciprofloxacin, 500 milligram orally twice a day for three days, or erythromycin, PACE. Five hundred milligram orally, three times per day for seven days. This is chancroid of hemophilus decreae. What about this? This is rare in our locality. This is a lymphogranuloma venereum. Lymphogranuloma. Venerium. This is lymphogranuloma venerium with obstructive, which is obstructive to the vulva, obstructive to the vulva and lymph nodes. Lymphogranuloma venerium, the cause of organism are chlamydia trachomatis, serotypes L1, L2, L3. The Treatment of choice is doxycycline, 100 milligram orally twice daily for 21 days. What about this destructive, another destructive condition? This is a granuloma inguinal. This is a granuloma inguinal. That is lymphogranuloma venereum caused by chlamydia trachomatis. This is lymphogranuloma inguinal, which is caused by 
do noveni podes, do noveni podes. Graniloma inguinal, also previously called dunovenosis, related to the scientist Donovani. It is caused by intracellular gram-negative bacterium, Klebsiella granulomatis, formerly known as Klebsiella granulomatis or Donovani podis. The diagnosis established by appearance of a typical lesion by demonstration of Donovan podis in the surface smears or biopsies. Trancroid syphilis, tuberculosis, and uh, uh, carcinoma must be excluded in the differential diagnosis due to its the very severe figure, as you see in the photo. The treatment may be azithromycin, doxycycline, ciftraxone, uh, sorry, ciprofloxacin, erythromycin, and trimethoprim, sulfamisexazole, to cure the condition. Long-term treatment is needed. Most treatment courses run for three weeks or until the sores are completely healed. This is the granuloma inguinal with ulceration, with ulceration that was lymphogranuloma venerium, which is mainly operational lymphatics, affecting lymphatics of the vulva. Both are sexually transmitted diseases, and both are common in uh, uh, some African equatorial uh, countries. What is the region in A? This is inclusion dermoid. And this urethral crankle. This is not a this a hydradenosis, hydradenosis, and this is a urethral crankle. Hydradenosis, differential diagnosis, inclusion dermoid. Present with each nodule, while urethral crankle presents as a reddish mass polyp at the urethral orifice with dyspronia. The management of choice is surgical removal. What about this lesion? This is a sarcoma of the labia, which is a very rare condition. Sarcoma of the labia. Differential diagnosis, any mass of the valve, parcelin, mass, lymphoma, fibroma, hemangioma are all uh, high death uh, of the canal of neck, Direct, indirect inguinal hernia are all differential diagnosis of this mass. Hemangioma, lipoma, fibroma, and direct inguinal hernia, cyst of the canal of neck. Uh, uh, varieties include fibrosarcoma, spindle cell sarcoma, lymphosarcoma, mixosarcoma, and libosarcoma, round cell, giant cell, and polymorphous cell sarcoma are all subtypes of the sarcoma of the labia major. What about this metastatic? hypernephroma. This is a metastatic hypernephroma. This can enter in the differential diagnosis of any ulcer or fleshy mass in the vestibule. And this is the clitoral. This is carcinoma of the clitoris which has a favorable prognosis 
the clitoris relatively favorable clitoral carcinoma relatively favorable prognosis however because the metastatic hyper nephroma is a fourth stage cancer of the primary and the kidneys which of them is suggested to surgical ex exclusion this primary which which is carcinoma of the clitoris is managed by simple valvectomy with adjuvant therapy or modified radical valvectomy according to its stage and size this is the condyloma acuminata or genital warts the cause of organism is human papilloma virus this is a lipoma the treatment of in, is surgical treatment surgical excision and this is a superficial perineal muscle round ligament fibroma that may bright from uh, arise from the superficial perineal muscle round ligament or perineal fibrous tissue what about this this is a Bartholin cyst treatment of this is by marsipialization treatment of the sebaceous cyst is drainage drainage treatment of inclusion cyst is excision cyst of the canal of neck treatment is excision and repair of the facial defect identify the congenital anomaly shown in the photo uterus didelphus uterus didelphus with two uteri two cervices and septate vagina graded according to the ESRI SG classification system it is U3 by cornet uterus, double uterus, dielphus, C2, and V1. Management is excision of the septum, plus or minus circulation when there is in associated cervical incompetence. This is the ESRI SG classification of female genital tract anomalies simply it classifies the defects in the uterus into six defects the cervix into five defects they have five grades and the vagina into five uterus when u0 the uterus is normal u1 dysmorphic uterus either a t-shaped infantile or others U2 is septate uterus, partial or complete septum. U3 by corporeal uterus, partial, complete, and or by corporeal septum. This is our case. U4 unicorn uterus, hemiuterus, with rudimentary horn, A, communicating or not communicating, no rudimentary horn, only limit, uh, unicorn uterus, a uh, type type U5, a plastic uterus, absent uterus, absent uterus, absent uterus, with a limitary horn, limitary cavity by or unilateral horn, no rudimentary cavity. U6 unclassified malformation. The cervix zero is normal, C1 septate, C2 double cervix, normal cervix, 
C3 unilateral cervical aplasia, C4 cervical aplasia, vagina, no normal vagina, V0, ranges to absent vagina in V4. We stop here to the second recording. Thank you very much.